boys, it's fucking time. Today, we're playing the one and only official KFC. Yes, Kentucky Fried Chicken Dating Simulator. Holy shit, dude! Dude, what is- Dude. It looks like a fucking JoJo, dude. <laughs> dude, we gotta get the fucking JoJo, like... <laughs> KFC before JoJo? KFC after JoJo? <laughs> Pretty much out. Let's so get right into it. The fucking new game. Enter your name. Before we get started, tell us your name. Welcome, chef. You got to know the only the only person that we could enter as our name is a edge teenager that slays pussy left from right with his two swords. Oops. Here, toe. <laughs> you sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window. Your modest student apartment, the most peaceful and serene. You could stay in the the moment forever. Or you can wake up now, now, now. Your first day of the culinary school is now time to sleep in. Throw the clock out the window, stay in bed forever, or smack the clock and wake up now. You gotta know we're staying in bed forever, dude. You stepped through this school year and gave up the once in a lifetime opportunity to meet Colonel Sand. Get over. I already made my have not cut off for this. Oh shit, dude. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you next time. Okay, smack it up and get it going. Lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits you. The prestigious University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. Your mind begins to wander. Who will be there? What will you cook? What you should? What should you wear? Time begins, fly by, and you find your imagination getting away from you. You need to take, take this, allow yourself to daydream a bit and think about the future. <laughs> Dude, we got. We're gonna meet Colonel Sanders. We gotta take this shit seriously. Fucking Sekirito. I better make sure a wife prepared for the first day. Hell yeah, dude. You bust through the morning checklist, teeth, brush, hair, cone, pits, deodorize. Nothing can stop me now. You carefully grab a biscuit, shut out the door, and head to off to class. Just what you needed to get your blood flowing. Wouldn't that, like, doesn't bread, like, almost, like, clog your shit? I don't, I don't know. Never mind. Fuck that. <laughs> Standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent university cooking. Here comes your lifelong best friend. I can't say names prop. Miram? Miriam? Miram? I don't fucking know. She's the most adorable, awkward person you've ever met. You absolutely love her for it. And I'm not sure about that one. Not sure about that one, but um, my heart's stuck on Colonel Sanders. Good morning, Kirito. Are you excited for the first day of your of our lives? Actually. I'm, woo, woo, cause I'm sure I am excited, a little nervous, okay, okay, a lot nervous, what the, oh my bad, my bad, my bad, what the, <laughs> it's just, this morning I made breakfast for myself, but, but when I ate it, I couldn't taste any love in the food, what if, what if I'm no good, what if I fail, how are you, be fine, classic Miram, Raised by the master chef parents, she's always held herself to a very high standard. <laughs> ever since we were a little bit, ever since, oh my bad, my bad. Ever since we were little babies playing together and you rescued me from that quicksand box, it's been clear to me that you're the most loving and caring person I've, I've known. You're going to do great. <laughs> Ooh, what the fuck? But with the University of Cooking and Academy School of Fame in another three days, only a semester, I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up. It's weak. <laughs> uh, you're nervous for. Wait, what? A sweet girl, Miram, has always had a flair for dramatic. This summer, she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped a tooth practicing on a. Ma what? Dude, oh my god, this. Ugh, stay away from her, dude. Should you pep talk her and change the subject? Give her some relief. Change the subject. Dude, we got we got to talk her up. We got to talk her up. So when she fails, <laughs> we seem better. <laughs> Remember last month when we saw the fortune teller and had our terriot? I feel like I'm saying these words wrong. 
Tariot cards? R red? The lady with the mask who gave me the nightmares I've been trying to forget. I know she looks spooky, but she was so sweet, and she told she told you that you were destined for great things. Remember that card with the fancy looking tower and the other card featuring the handsome fellow in the red suit? Is it I've been waiting for so I've been waiting for so long to meet the a handsome fellow I could call my own. And I'm sure you will soon. In no time we'll be graduating and you'll be delighting the world with your heartfelt cooking in no time at all. As you talk to Miriam, you can feel her nervous nerves begin to ease. Before you can get another word, I'll be really interrupt when someone smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoons. I have custom engraved measuring spoons, dude. I'm fucking fucking gnarly, dude. I'm fucking lit. I got I got custom I probably get like swords on that. I got like like on my spoons, I bet you it's like a sword. You know like a sword, like um a little Kirito sword, you know? <laughs> fucking custom engraved. Out of your hands onto the ground. I just dude, I'm about to smack whoever this bitch is. Hey! Ah, oh, dude, she's, she's the fucking Tundere. It's obvious. She's a... Do you see her? Just look at her. She just... She has the fucking heart. She's the fucking Tundere. Is Aze... What the fuck are these names? Aze... Aze Halai? Aze... Aze Lee? You're fucking Katie. Your name is Katie. It's Katie, your arch rival. She's totally evil, but you can't help but filled with be filled with jealousy. She can't get anything she wants, and she knows it. That's a lie. She can't get me. Dude, why are her thighs so thick, dude? Wait, is it Ashley? Like Ashley? I'm just gonna call. It, dude, okay, her name, her new, her new name, no, her new name is Ashley. So we're gonna call her Ashley. I feel like that's the closest I can get to it, Ashley. <laughs> I didn't see you there, chicken, chicken shins. Dude, she got me. <laughs> you leave Kirito shins alone. They are perfectly normal shins. Ugh. You can't stand Ashley. Even her name's annoying. You know for a fact it's actually Ash. That <laughs> <I> was <laughs> Ashley, but she had to add extra letters to make herself feel better than any than everyone. Yeah. Fuck you. I knew it was. I knew it was. <sighs> fucking egotistical little bitch, dude. It's fucking. I knew it. I mean, I just called her Katie because she's a fucking asshole. Like, Ashley? Ashley? Ash. It's fucking Ashley. I knew it. Fucking. <sighs> if anyone here knows. If anyone here knows what perfect shins look like, it's us. We're not going to let you, or your real, or your really weird insults get to us. Across the crowd, you see Ashley's best friend, Van Van the Man Man, has stopped to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight that you can see him casually w working on his glutes while he styles his hair. No light, they're rocking glutes. Fucking, fucking, not skipping leg day, you know what I mean? Gotta get those shins in. <laughs> I'm, I'm Van Van. Wait, what the fuck? Dude, what the hell is his face? She's about to kill someone with some Yandiri ass. Damn, he's pretty sexy though. Pretty sexy though. You know what I mean? Like, fuck. <laughs> you Rain Rain. Wait, I feel like I need a really Chad voice. How, do I, how does Chad speak? You rain rain? There it is. There, there's our fucking fan mail. You rain rain? You ne you never <laughs> never been sure what their arrangement is, but as long as you you've known them, Ashley and Van Van have been just as close as you and Miriam, but it's sub substantially more devious. I can't believe that University of Cooking School Academic for Learning would ever allow people like you to attend as students. What's my voice? I know, right? You think they just hand us our diplomas now? Or maybe hire us and as professors, you amateurs could learn a lot from us. <laughs> With the first day of school about to start, there's just no time to probably tell these two off, so you resist the urge. 
Let's go meet him. Fish. See you later, losers. <laughs> Who's this fucker now? As you approach the door, you see a goofy-looking kid pushing hard against the window directly next to it. You got a little beer belly going on there. Little, little, little tum tum, you know. You got a little tum tum there. Little, little eating too many sweets, are you, Pop? <laughs> Un. What? What just happened? Why is it? Oopsie. I think it's broken. <laughs> That's her pop voice. You reach forward and easily pull the door open. Uh, that should do the trick. I love you. I think you mean thank you. My name is Pop. I was thinking after my Pop Pop. He's old. Can someone, can someone like this also be a student at the school? He must be one the heck of, one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag is clearly says Bob, but I guess he's reading it upside down. Okay. Hi, Pop. <laughs> oh my bad. Hi, Pop. I'm Kirito. So, are you sure to make me hold this door? Are you gonna make me hold this door all day? No. And with that, the young man walked into the building ahead of you. Is it just me, or is he kind of cute? Okay, Miriam, I need you to step the fuck down, because you're, like, up here, and you need you to be down here right now. Because that kid was ugly as fuck. <laughs> I think it's just yeah, Kirito's with me. I think it's just I think it's just you. You both shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. Look at this dude. Look at this sexy motherfucker up here. He's gonna teach me how to cook some chicken, dude. We're gonna get some nice fucking chicken. You stand at the edge of your room, unsure of where to sit. Other students wander in and keep themselves busy chit chatting. A scruffy looking pooch takes his place at, at the podium at the front of the class. Adorable. He's pretty fucking adorable, dude. Oh my god. I would actually fucking hug that sh hug the shit out of this dog. Holy cow. It's like it's like the fucking just a giant fluff ball almost. With the fucking the glasses. The glasses make it perfect. Oh my god. This guy knows how to cook some damn chicken. He's gonna cook some chicken and then we're gonna cook him. <laughs> Now, now, quiet down, everyone. I feel like they have British accents, but I can't do British accents. I feel like he's British. I feel like the dog will speak like some British tone. Who's this unreasonably cute pup? And why is he in our cul culinary class? You must be Sprinkles, head instructor of the CEO of UCS all. Oh. Please, please call me Professor Dog. I may be cute and little and fluffy, but I still demand respect. You're not gonna catch me saying that. You're not gonna catch me saying, well, fuck, you caught me saying fucking. Okay, you're not gonna catch me saying, well, fuck, oh, fuck, I did it again. <laughs> what a cute dog, he said, Professor. This is the best school ever. This is the best school ever. I guess the only dog Snow is capable of picking up the, all the nonsense of the fine dining. Out of nowhere, wind begins to rush around you as the swirl of cherry blossom petals fill the air inside the classroom. I'm chilly. Someone close the door. <laughs> I don't want that. I'm chilly. Someone close the window. <laughs> and then, he walks in. You immediately swept up in the air of this new student and his remarkable goatee. Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stands still. It's him. It's. If it isn't my favorite student, Harland. Colonia Sanders interrupts Sprinkle. Sorry, Professor Dog. Before he can finish his sentence, please call me Colonia. Or I'm just gonna call her Colonel. Please call me Colonel. C 
Colonel Sanders. A, husb a hushed murmur rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisles of the desk. Currently, the room is sweltering. What the hell? Is, is that even a word? Am I just stupid? Sip against to beat across. Sip begins to beat across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you, and you're not entirely wrong. And this over here must be sweaty Sweetlands. Sweaty Switzerland's. Or sweaty. Mm -hmm. Cut. Cut. <laughs> and this over here must be sweetie. Sweet slot. Oh, that's what it is. <laughs> This over here must be Sweetie Sweets a lot. Maybe we should open the window back up before faucet pits melt into a puddle and evaporates entirely. Hold on just a second. Nobody talks to my friend that way. Or, like... You two both know my name. We were in the same kindergarten class and was with you all. You're really weird. And... Uh, you do <laughs> you two both know my name we were in the same kindergarten class and what is what is it with you all you and what is with all your weird you do <laughs> you two both know my name we were in the same kindergarten class and what is with all your weird insults besides when Kirito sweet sweets it's not gross it's beautiful it, look at the shimmer besides when Kirito sweets Oh, take, you take a long to explain yourself. It's a good thing you. It's a good thing you didn't forget about the order this morning. This classroom is hot, hot, hot. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Professor Dog steps in to settle the class down and set some ground rules. Welcome to the University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning, the greatest culinary academy in the world. The birthplace of the culinary legend past, present, and future. Many, many challenges await you. There will be tears. There will be blood. There might even be really adorable tiny food. And when all said is done, there will be a battle. You will lift your sporks and complete in the broom cooking arena. Just then another student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor rousing speech. Hi guys, sorry I'm late, hope everyone had a good summer, I really miss, quiet, <laughs> quiet, late to class is bad enough, but interrupting my monologue, you're on the fast track out of here young man, are you sure you're even in the right place, don't you recognize me, this is my third year in the school, with you as my teacher, everyone stares at him blankly, does no one remember me? I'm... You're expelled if you utter one more word before I finish. But the lesson to you, to your students, Tarn is, is unacceptable. Even Clank made, made it here on time, rolling halfway across the town on his tiny wheels. You turn to see the student Sprinkles is referencing who appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen appliance. Bzzzt, we're <laughs> what the fuck is that thing? Dude, kill it! It looks like it looks like it's in so much pain. It honestly, look at it, look at its face. It looks like it wants to die. Like holy shit, kill it! Like cut his head off, dude. Just holy cow! The class bursts into laughter. Oh, clank you rascal! Spring Sprinkles walks in the classroom as everyone stands in silent obedience when he gets to you. He lifts his nose into the air and takes a deep sn sniff. Him, your diet is lacking based on what I'm picking up here. You definitely need a mul multivitamin. You should be taking better care of yourself. Never had talking to dogs as a teacher before, but Sprinkles' reputation being smart, tough, is well known. You said to try and butter him up. By giving him a treat from your pocket, but what kind? A rubber ball, a chicken snack, a beef treat. Okay, if we'll be logically here, a rubber ball will piss him off. 
A chicken snack might make him happy. But we all know that dogs fucking love beef. You reach beneath your atrium with a small bit of beef jerky in your hand. Sprinkle's eyes go right as lock onto it. We fucked up, dude. We pissed off the teeth. We fucking pissed off the teacher. Beef, are you trying to give me a heart attack? I would never eat that. You clearly do not belong here. Please remove your apron and then remove yourself from this class and the school. It seems you reached the end of the line. Chef, the profitable word. Game over. back to it okay we're gonna be completely honest maybe i'm being stupid and maybe they were trying to trick me saying because it's a chef school that they beef and chicken they were not gonna like but rubber ball the dog will fucking play with right right yes it's the rubber ball Reach your apron with a rubber ball in your hands speak close right and locks onto it is that clear that it endeared you to him or not okay we didn't get kicked out we didn't get kicked out that's good that's good Settles down, young chefs. Take your seats and prepare to have your minds open to the amazing possibility of the culinary creation. As everyone rushes to claim their favorite seat, if you're left standing at the front of the room, only two options remain. Hey, Kirito, there's still a seat here. It seems that no one has claimed the seat next to me, if you're interested. Two good options, but which one will you choose? Well, am I trying to go for pussy, or am I trying to go for some nice kernel hot chicken, if you know what I mean? Yeah, we need that chicken. <laughs> <laughs> we have to take a seat by Colonial San by Colonel Sanders. It appears he brought no bucks or pens, however, his perfect upright posture shows off his seri seriousness that makes you confident in his desire to learn. Thanks for offering me the seat. I've only had two rules. Do all you can and do it the best you can. It's the only way you ever get the feeling of accomplishment, of accomplishing something. That's so in inspiring. A little off topic if you ask me, but okay. As soon as you settle, settle into your seats, the professor makes an announcement. Think fast. It's time for a pop quiz. Yay, a quiz about me. Hate. I fucking hate Pop, dude. I hate him so much. I hate his little little face. I just... His little belly. Dude, I just want... Dude, it's like a kid you just want to bully. Like, I fucking, I'm not sure what about him, but everything about him just makes me hate him. I hate him. It's what his voice sounds... It makes me sound... Make his voice sound stupid. His name's stupid. He looks stupid. He's fat. He got stuff all over him. He got cum stuff... Like, cum stains. Like, dude, just... Fuck, get that shit out. I fucking hate Pop. I hate Pop. He's stupid too. He's actually stupid though. This is an incredibly important, surprisingly a sh short quiz. Well, tell me if you're ready for life at culinary school. Keep your knife sharp and your focus sharper. Here comes the question one. If train A is traveling to point B and train B is traveling to point A, how important is it to wash your hands before cooking? Extremely looking at you, man. If it's IRL, dude. If it's IRL and there's trains coming at me, train A and traveling to point B, and train B is traveling to point A. I gotta say, personally, I would say it doesn't matter at all. But I think the quiz is asking me to not worry about the trains and worry about my sanity 
of my um, hands. Make sure they're nice and clean. So I'm going to go with extremely looking at you. I just read that question. Extremely looking at you, Pop. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I got it right. Forest is to tree as chicken is to night vision cloud. Feather? That's right. Dude, we're killing this quiz. What's the most efficient eating utensil ever created? A spork? A chromatical oversized fork? A meat tenderizer? A spork? Well, the thing is, I want to pick this one so bad, but we're going to go with spork. Hey, we're fucking insane. What food is the best for a broken heart? Anything as long as we pair with love and not much salt. Not too much salt. Yeah. Dude, we're fucking killing it. Is Sprinkles a good boy? He's talking. He's, he's a talking dog teacher at culinary school. He's the best boy. That is a fact. That is a That's a... If I haven't heard a fact before, that's the fact is a facts. <laughs> Perfect score. I know. I'm amazing. Well, be honest. Did you cheat? I did not. Look. Look at what Colonel Sanders has been watching. Tally your score. He's impressed. I know we just met, but I have to confess. I think you have a beautiful brain. Damn, dude. I'm going to use that pickup line. I'm going to use that today. I'm going to tell my girl. That she has a beautiful brain. <laughs> Hot diggity Kirito. You just scored some major colonial Colonel Sander points with that performance. May I have your attention, students? I have an important announcement to make. Time for lunch. Oh, fuck yeah. But as you can see... We're at the second bite. So we've made it through the first bite, and then we're on to the second bite. If you guys want to see more of this, leave a like, comment down below. It's a little different. It's a game playthrough. It's a little different. I'm not sure how, how to really go about day simulators for videos, but should I read out? Should I read that out more and make more jokes? I don't really know. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe if you're new here. Hit the like button while you're down there because it boosts my self confidence. And as always, hope you guys have a fantastic day, and peace out. You are the only thing that can ease my mind on days like these. You are the only one that can take my mind somewhere else. Yeah. They say patience is a virtue, but I don't wanna.